Kia ora everyone, I'm Donna Louise from New Zealand and welcome to my YouTube channel for the love of puzzles. I am so excited because I'm essentially doing a puzzle along series with Vicky from Vicky Makes and Builds. We both have this same large jigsaw puzzle, 5,000 pieces from Ravensburger titled Bizarre Town by the artist Colin Thompson. And we were trying to decide how we could collaborate. And it, it's always a bit tricky to come up with ideas and what we should do. So we're gonna try to do two videos for the jigsaw puzzle each. We're going to release them one after another. And if you're watching this right now, it's as a premiere. So there should be a live chat, but of course the videos will be there forever. So you could well be watching this in a month or a year's time. I'll leave links to Vicky's videos in the description below. For the first video, we thought, you know, we could talk about our plan of attack for the jigsaw puzzle, but then I just want to ask Vicky a whole bunch of questions about the puzzle, maybe about the image, about her approach, maybe also general puzzling questions like what type of puzzles she's enjoying doing and how long does it typically take her to do a puzzle? How does she choose puzzles? So if you have any questions for Vicky, leave them in the comments below. And then for the second video, because let's face it, we won't be able to do just one video on such a large jigsaw puzzle. We figure it'll take two. So in the second video, then we'll be able to answer each other's questions. So in the same respect, she will ask me a bunch of questions during her first video, and then we'll answer each other's questions in the second video. And we thought that would be a lot of fun. Now, 5,000 pieces is a lot, but luckily it comes with a big, beautiful poster. Look at this image. I can't even, can I even show it all on camera? Is it there? Look at that. And I just don't even know how I should approach it. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. Let's just crack this open. Let me see if I can dump these pieces out. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, look, look what I've done. Ooh, two pieces connected. I'm going to keep those together. That's okay. How did I, how did I mean? You think I would know how to open a puzzle bag by now. Okay. Let's just put them in the bottom of the box. They're going to go everywhere. Oh, don't fall. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is so many pieces. Look at this. Oh, oh, some always, I always end up leaving some in the bottom of the bag. I'll check the bag later. Oh, wow. They look a little small. Oh goodness. I got pieces everywhere. Okay. Careful, 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 careful. Oh, wow, that's a lot of pieces. They look a little smaller than typical oh, Robin's Burger pieces. <laughs> okay, feeling a little overwhelmed here. Hmm, how am I gonna approach this? I mean, look, that's a lot. Do you like the smell of a freshly opened jigsaw puzzle bag? I do, I do. I think, I think there's gonna be sorting. Edge pieces, look at that. Edge pieces will sort out. Oh, two more pieces connected. I am keeping every single piece connected together. I am not separating them. And maybe focus like there's some red pieces. I wonder if they go together somehow. No, not yet. How can I sort this? It is so beautiful. I almost think I could do a build as I sort, but like there's a lot of black with yellow windows. Those I could like sort and put aside. And maybe some things would be by themes, like books, or maybe colors, or leaves, or brickwork. I honestly don't know. This is, um, I'm going to have to do some thinking about this. So it's going to take some time, and I think I'm going to use my GoPro to capture the time lapse. And sometimes it's not as great as a quality as the Canon time lapse. Apologies, it's just that the GoPro, I don't have to keep starting and stopping it. It just can continuously capture, which makes the filming a lot easier. But wow, oh, what do I do? Like part of me just wants to grab pieces and just build away or, you know, oh, look, there's books. Oh, yeah. oh, look, blue and purple. Hmm. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I really don't know yet how to approach this by color, by, I don't know. Let me know, leave your comments below. Have you done this jigsaw puzzle and how did you approach it? And so before even starting, Vicki, my first question to you is, 
please explain to us your initial thought process of how you think you will approach the jigsaw puzzle. And then perhaps at the end, when it's all said and done, explain if you changed it. My thought process right now is, um, is a little overwhelmed. <laughs> um, let's see. I will sort out the border pieces. I, I, I really don't know. I will, tr I will most likely look at every single piece and try to figure out approximately where it goes and some more generic pieces off to the side. You know me. The one thing is I will have to double check the dimensions. It's 153 centimeters by 101. So I do think I'll probably need to grab out my big boards, but it's going to be so much fun. So again, leave your questions for Vicki in the comments below. And then the follow-up video, the second part, she'll answer them. Okay, well, um, ooh, it's, sorry, I'm really feeling overwhelmed but excited. And I want to thank Vicki for doing this puzzle along with me. Okay. I wanted to show you all kind of my more standard puzzling setup and what I have to do to rearrange everything in order to do a much larger size jigsaw puzzle. So I have to move my table out a bit, <laughs> cleared off all the old puzzle dust from it. And here are my two big boards and they're actually taped together on one side. And this will give me enough room to build this large, amazing jigsaw puzzle. Um, I have the top down tripod, you see it there. And I have a lot of diffuse lighting going around on all sides. The tricky part is always getting the camera in position and hopefully getting a nice view. In order to capture it all, I am using like the wide angle lens, which I know makes it rounded on the sides. So apologies, I hope you don't mind. And here I am trying to level the camera, like just the time needed to do this and see if the image looks good. <laughs> can take forever. I also measured out approximately where the jigsaw puzzle would fit on these boards and I used some of my painter's purple tape to kind of outline the edges. There I'm putting a piece in the middle. I just wanted something to help me figure out where the jigsaw puzzle will fit on these boards. Now these are just some screenshots here at the beginning because my GoPro was having light banding issues. However, I have a polarized lens, so I swapped it out and now you will see the time lapse and no light banding issues. And as you can tell, I didn't sort a single piece. I just started grabbing and placing pieces wherever they went. I loved it. I could not stop myself and to try and sort. I was like, well, I know where this piece goes. Let's just try to put it immediately on the board. So I realized this looks messy and chaotic <laughs> and perhaps overwhelming. And I'm worried this first video won't actually look all that nice, but I've already done a lot of work on the second video. And wow, when the image starts coming together, it's just so much fun. But I wanna give you like an overall view of just how large this jigsaw puzzle is. I don't want to crop in too much because I want to make sure to grab all sides, but you're able to see that I am capable of walking around most sides of the jigsaw puzzle. So I'm trying not to lean too much, but yes, I am overextending myself at times. So my back, you know, takes a bit on a toll, a bit of a stretch. Luckily it hasn't been bothering me, but I just loved looking at every single piece. Okay, so maybe this isn't the best angle, but I just really wanted you to see the table and this other table. Now, I know I, <laughs> I thought I'm gonna sort. I tried, I tried, but I just grab a piece and I was like, let's sort and find exactly where it goes. <laughs> this has turned into what I wanna call a puzzling treasure hunt. And it's been so much fun. So basically, as you can tell, I'm picking up pieces and trying to place them exactly where they go on the board. I did mark out with the purple tape, kind of like the edges in the center. I think if I did it again, I would actually do like four pop proper quadrants and the outline just to help. I'm having to be very careful because I am having to shift sections. I know things are, are cramped and, and will have to be moved. It's part of the fun though. 
So what happened was, I'm puzzling, I'm grabbing pieces, placing them where they go, and Paige, who gifted this jigsaw puzzle to me, she came over and she's like, oh, okay, okay, nice, nice. And I said, yeah, pick a piece from the box, but try to find something with like red or bright blue or a detail that, you know, might be easy to find. Well, next thing you know, my hubby Kelly is standing here. All three of us are just grabbing pieces and going, oh, yep, goes there, oh. Yeah, it goes there. Oh, it goes there. And I was trying to place them on the board. But they were finding pieces quite quickly. And they were placing them face up on the poster. And then I was kind of losing track of where a piece was. So one of them, I forget which one, suggested, well, put the piece face down on the puzzle, on the poster, because it has that Ravensburger blue backing. So as you can see, hopefully you can make out on camera, I have about 20 pieces here already placed on the poster. I know where they go. So I'm going to take my time then, and I'll take a piece and I'll go, okay, that goes there. I know where that goes, right there. There you go. Oh, and look at that. It all kind of connects. Okay. So I'm going to move around the poster, take all these pieces, and then transfer them to the main board. Now, when I'm just puzzling by myself, I go from the box, find it on the poster, or I'm getting to know the image quite well at this point. A lot of pieces I'm able to just place automatically. But if I don't know, I look at the poster and I do have these piles of unknown pieces down here and I am sorting pieces like these are all dark brick. I know they go here, but I'm not sure where yet. And I'm sorting some pieces off to the side like that bluish greenish water, some greenery, this greenery up here sorting. So I am making some small sorting piles, but overall I am trying to place most of them where they go. Now, the nice thing about doing this is that I only have so much battery power. <laughs> and so the battery ran out on my camera, but I want it to keep puzzling. So I actually just sat here and found pieces and put them upside down on the poster. So then when I come back to filming, I'll just transfer them to the board. So I will admit, I'm, I decided not to time this puzzle just because I'm not doing it <laughs> in a very standard way. And Paige and Kelly helped me with a few pieces and, and they'll probably keep helping if they come over. It's just fun. It's so much fun to just grab a piece and go, oh, look at that. Well, that's interesting. Oh, that goes right there. And oh, that's interesting. That goes right there. And so it's lots of fun. Now, as the puzzle gets more filled in, they'll most likely be able to move the pieces and place them directly on the board. But for now, because it's a bit chaotic, I was like, place them face down on the poster and I'll, I'll shift them over. One evening, I just stood there and put pieces on the poster and it got to the point the poster was too filled up. So I had to move those pieces off. Oh, it's it's so much fun finding the pieces on the poster. To me, that's that's part of the joy of puzzling this jigsaw puzzle. Now, some questions for Vicky. First of all, I don't remember, Vicky, if you bought this puzzle yourself or if it was a gift. If you did buy it yourself, what attracted you to the puzzle? Why did you want to purchase it? And then, is this your first Colin Thompson puzzle? I don't know if it is or not. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to know if this is your first one. What is your favorite scene in the entire jigsaw puzzle? Because it's kind of in blocks and sections, like they're very distinct. So which scene is your favorite in this jigsaw puzzle and why? And do you have a favorite critter, character, bonum that appears in the jigsaw puzzle? And what, what would you name that critter, that character, and why is that character your favorite one? And did you find the pencil sharpener? Like so many times I pick up a piece and I go, what is this? Where, where does this go? There's a pencil sharpener? So I want to know, did you find the pencil sharpener in the jigsaw puzzle? Okay, I know this looks crazy. I just couldn't sort. I, I just am loving this, but I realize it probably looks like such a mess. Hopefully I'm not shaking too bad and you can see what is going on here. But yeah, I'm just selectively picking pieces out of the box and trying to place them exactly where they go. But you can see that I'm doing some sorting. So for example, these are the trees above the bathtub. And here's like all the greenish water in this area where the bathtub is. So I am sorting them off to the side and I'll deal with them later. Um, Cause I'm not sure exactly where they go yet, but pretty much every single one of these pieces is exactly where I think 
where I think it goes. Now down here, these are my unknown pieces and there's not that many. And as I continue puzzling, I actually go, wait a minute, I've seen one of those pieces and I've been able to go back to my unknown piles and find where they go. Some of them, this is probably most likely like more of a, a sorting, like a dark black pile, dark brick pile. And a lot of the pieces with black and yellow windows, I'm, I'm just putting there for now. But then every so often I'll get a piece and I'll be like, I should know where this goes. Where does this piece go? And then it drives me crazy that I can't figure it out. But yeah, I'm loving it. Is this too much chaos for you all though? Are you enjoying it? Or, or is it just making you want to go nuts? I tried the other day, I was picking out pieces from the box and I thought, should I sort? Should I just try to sort? And I, I started and I just couldn't. I was like, well, I know where this piece goes. I need to put it where it goes. And I love all the little creatures and all the things to discover. There's just so much going on. It's so much fun. I hope it comes together nicely. And I'm frustrated with the start of the time lapse because maybe the first hundred pieces I had light banding. But now I have a polarized lens lens on my GoPro camera, which should take care of that and hopefully no more light banding issues ever. This area here is still pretty empty. Of course, I have not really mixed up the pieces in the box. I never do that. I try to take the pieces out gently because that's when they're least mixed. And there's some pieces up there, white, um, sorry, not white, yellow and black houses that kind of go in this strip here. I put them over there to the side. But yeah, so I am able to find a lot of pieces that go around the same kind of area. For example, here, I found a lot of those pieces. So in the end, this is really going to be a pick and place, build as you sort style of jigsaw puzzle. Another question for Vicky then is like, would you try to do a build as you sort? Perhaps on like a 1000 piece or even on a 500 piece. It works best on like a busy puzzle and um, maybe that's a little bit of a challenge that I'm going to set for you. Would you do a build as you sort, a pick and place kind of kind of puzzle? Now, at this point, I have seen Vicky's progress photos, and I'm actually quite happy that we approached the jigsaw puzzle very differently, or else maybe our videos would be a bit boring to watch, <laughs> the, the same puzzle being built in the same exact way. But I love how differently we're approaching this jigsaw puzzle and how differently the image is coming together and how differently brains work. Like I know some people cannot even imagine doing this, but when Paige is helping me, she's, she's like, yeah, I can find the pieces on the poster. I think it's the putting them on the big board is the tricky part. Now I will admit if we look the left side of the board, the top area is a complete mess complete mess. I really had to shift so many pieces over. And I think it's because the right side, I'm finding many more pieces that go on the right side. So that area is building up nicely, but that top left corner, oh my goodness, I'd find a piece and I go, oh, I need to shift everything. So it was, this was next level build as you sort, like having to shift pieces and not make a complete mess of what you've already put there. Now you're probably wondering how I decided what would be my halfway point because I didn't obviously count the pieces, it's too much. What I actually did through a lot of math and measurement and calculations and, and knowing the initial weight of the box, I kind of determined how much it should weigh to have the bottom of the box and pieces remaining for the halfway point. So I kept weighing the pieces and when I thought I was at the halfway point, that's when I stopped. So I believe I'm nearing the halfway point here, but looking at this footage, I'm like, no, there's no way this is halfway. There's way too many pieces left. But this is where I thought I was at the halfway point. This bottom little bathtub corner, so cute. Love the pops of red, you know, just the detail everywhere. This kind of television, I don't know, I'll say television framed area and the plants. And I realized though, looking at these images, you're like, what is going on? There's not enough detail because there's not enough pieces placed in every area. But overall, it's been so much fun. Vicky, question for you. What would you name that wolf that's sitting in the bathtub? That's a question for you. 
And overall, Vicki, I mean, if if you had to rank your preference in jigsaw puzzles, let's say color gradients, busy puzzles, landscapes, um, you know, maybe more illustrations and photographs, like how would you rank your preference of jigsaw puzzles? What would be your most preferred one, your second and third and fourth, if that's possible to do? And why do you enjoy doing large jigsaw puzzles so much? Um, yeah, if you can answer any of those questions, that would be great. If you all watching have questions for Vicki, put them in the comments below. She'll answer them in the next video. Hopefully you can see a bit more detail on this close-up span of the jigsaw puzzle. And I still can't decide if this is halfway or not. According to my math and measurements, it is, but I could well be off. It just feels like there's so many more pieces to go but I already know it looks amazing and it's been so much fun. I'm kind of glad that I didn't sort it. Um, I'm glad that it's such a busy puzzle that I was able to build it in my kind of traditional silly way that I love to do. But what do you think? Do you think I'm halfway? Like, look at this. Now that I look at it, may maybe not. Oh, it's so hard to tell. But I will admit in this shot, and I'm gonna show one overhead shot here in a second, a lot of this comes squash, like moved in together. It's well, way too spread out at the moment. And once I squish it together, it does look more complete. So I think I'm about halfway done. It's really hard to tell because obviously I'm trying to weigh the box and the pieces and I kind of estimated how much the pieces weighed to begin with. I should have weighed that bag when I started. I didn't think to do that. But what do you think? This is what I feel is the halfway point. I'm absolutely loving it, absolutely loving it. And I do think I've completed more on the right side than the left side. Very few pieces I put outside the border and there are pieces I kind of know where they go, like the greenery of the trees or some sky or brickwork. And I just thought I need more pieces in order to build them. So those are my sort piles. And down here are kind of like my unknown pieces. And what's funny, a few of these I do actually know where they go. They're just kind of also sorted. But what's funny is I will get a piece and I will look at it and go, that's a very distinct piece. And I will get fixated on this one piece and go, where do you go? Where do you go? And I've had to tell myself, just stop, put it down, we'll revisit it. So there's been very few pieces that I didn't know where they went right away or approximately where they went. Like there's one piece here with three little chimneys driving me nuts. No idea where it is. But I'm absolutely, I'm just loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. And I'm so appreciative that Vicky wanted to do this collaboration with me because I know we're building the jigsaw puzzles so differently that it's gonna be so much fun to see them come together. So in the next video, I'll answer any questions she had for me or any questions you all had for me. And she'll answer any of the questions that I had for her or any of the questions you leave in the comments below that you want her to answer as well in her video. Oh my goodness, it's, it's lovely, it's so much fun, it's busy, it's, it's my style of jigsaw puzzle to a T, love it. The poster has been so handy and helpful. And yeah, if you look, you know, it still looks like I have a lot of, oh, I know where that piece goes. Oh, sorry, I, I got distracted. It goes right about here somewhere. I know where it, I know where it goes, I got, it goes right there. <laughs> I got distracted. I do not look at the pieces. I'm just loving it. I'm loving it. And I'm really enjoying having the poster open, put the pieces on the poster, and then build the jigsaw puzzle. Um, one reason why I'm doing that is because it's a lot of time-lapse footage and a lot to capture. And so this helps my battery not dying and not having so much footage. So I'm not recording me putting the pieces on the poster. I did just once to kind of show you how I do it, but basically just recording the placement of the pieces to shrink down the amount of footage it would be. I do think when I get down to the, say the last 1000 pieces, I'm going to bring out another table and I'm just going to full flip and spread out those last 1000 pieces behind me here and just move the pieces from the table 
to the puzzling area. I think that would be fun because then I could kind of pick out the pieces that I want. And I think with a thousand pieces left, hopefully I should be pretty okay at figuring out where they go. And oh, I love this little corner here with the bathtub. It's so cute and colorful. I just love everything about it so much. Thank you so much for watching. I, I really appreciate it. This is so much fun. And I'm so appreciative of Vicki doing this with me. It's just such a joy. And to Robinsberger and Colin Thompson for making such amazing jigsaw puzzles. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Until next time. Ciao. Aha. <laughs> oh, yeah, because that's the two little bonhommes. Oh, oh, okay, okay. So about somewhere there. We're getting there. Woo! <laughs>